In 1877, Raoul Dufay was born into a large family at Le Havre in Normandy, France. At age 14, Dufay left school to begin working for a company that imported coffee. By 1895, 18-year-old Dufay took a job in commerce and it was around this time Dufay also started taking evening art classes at Le Havre's École d'Art Municipal Art School. During Dufay's early time at art school, he met soon-to-be lifelong friends Raymond Lecourt and Othman Fries, with whom Dufay later shared a studio with in Montumare. In 1900, Dufay was awarded a four-year scholarship to study at the École des Beaux Arts in Paris. At first, Dufay seemed to be influenced by Impressionist movements, yet paintings such as the Courtyard of La Bay, done in 1902, proved that Dufay had shed all traces of Impressionism and symbolism and moved on to discover his own unique style. A direct quote from Raoul Dufay states, What I wanted to do was carry my investigations further than those of the, the Impressionists. The Impressionists look for interrelationships of flags and patches of colour, and that in itself was good. Now, however, we need something more than the satisfaction of vision alone. We need to create a world of things unseen. Along Dufay's path as an artist, he encountered challenges in movements and centres, which included the Expressionist Germany and Suzanne's province. Dufay did not allow these challenges to influence his direction. However, he was still open to small changes and experimentation in his works. Dufay demonstrated to be somewhat of an inventor in his works, opposed to producing elements that represented nature-like forms. of Dufay's paintings allowed him to be established as an extraordinarily optimistic artist. Dufay's paintings showed his understanding of the world in terms of decorative art, which showed in his turned attention toward textile design, which alike Dufay's paintings were a tapestry of colours. The development of Dufay's colourful and decorative style was seen ideal for designs of ceramics and textiles, and also for the decorative schemes of public buildings. Dufay's unique and eye-catching style allowed him to design in a vast variety of jobs. Throughout Dufay's career as an artist, he worked as a printmaker, book illustrator, draftsman, scenic designer, a designer for furniture and a planner of public spaces. Dufay painted in an impressionist style at the beginning of his career. Then his work was directed towards fauvism by emphasising bright colours and bold outlines in his artwork. The variety of styles Dufay adopted led him to developing his own style, which included foreshortened perspective, skeletal structures, 
and the use of quick and thin colour washes. The French Riviera was where the summer holiday as we know it was invented and for the most of the 20th century it was the world's dream holiday destination. The dazzling light on the Azure Sea had attracted the most creatively gifted artists that picked up a brush, which include Raoul Dufay. It inspired them to paint new ways and explore new ideas and experiment with new colour. Dufay's painting, Regatta at the Cows, represents the colour style that was sweeping the French Riviera at the time, with the dominant violet blue and highlights of yellow. In style, which Dufay painted, used very organic and rough watercolour base, and then more refined and stronger contour lines. This artwork walks along the fine line between abstract and actual representation. The attractive way the Riviera was painted made the story of modern art at the time. The Riviera was giving artists at the time the inspiration to experiment with colours, especially the juxtaposition of yellow and violet. This would become the exclusive colour signature of the French coast. Dufay's attention to detail could not be compared to anything like the Renaissance but it did just provide enough detail to be able to distinguish and identify the subjects and the other elements in the painting. For example, there is no fine attention to shadow or tone or range. However, by just taking a step back and looking at the painting as a whole, the visual ele elements cohere, making a beautiful visual piece. Um. Another one of Dufay's work, named Nature Morte a la cafe, completely contrasts his previous work. It challenged the idea that art had to be a literal representation of the external world. Dufay achieved this by interpreting the elements he saw before him instead of trying to imitate it. Morte a la cafe, which translates to still life in the cafe, is Dufay's representation of the dining table, with various and some indistinguishable objects on it. The use of colour is much more subtle in this painting and is dominated by an earthy brown watercolour base. The technique used in still life in the cafe compared to the regatta painting is much different. Here Dufay used really watered down, unsaturated colours as well as leaving a negative space on the canvas which you can see is the white area. This definitely wasn't evident in his other painting with the regatta. The line and brush usage is also similar, yet completely different between the paintings. In both paintings, Dufay uses clearly visible blue squiggle-like brush strokes, however that's where the similarities start and finish. Seems Dufay only used watercolour for the carafe painting and the overall feeling of the viewer could be that of confusion as it looks almost like a child's painting. However, the way he conveys the visual elements in such a minimalistic way is very unique and effective. This concludes our documentary. Thank you for watching. Au revoir! Au revoir.